Then finally, in the on the reporting side, again, um, as someone who spent too many of my too many of my years in the executive branch working on uh, producing reports mandated by Congress, I'm loath to throw any more reporting requirements. Um, but too often, uh, that which doesn't get reported doesn't get done, uh, and so um, wanted to. Uh, uh, at the back end for some more accountability and to, to drive uh, drive uh, better better performance from the executive branch, uh, put in a few more uh, recording, reporting requirements. One is the, um, again, I'm borrowing from the Public Interest Declassification Board, uh, recommending making the DNI an executive agent with a kind of final authority for uh, for, de, for declassifying, declassifying um, since right now it's such a competing morass. Um, uh, the second is building on the success of of the State Department Historical Advisory uh, Council, which you know, Richard Immerman chairs, which I'm on, having a congressional charter. Uh, let's give a Hill charter for the CIA panel, which uh, as Bob Jervis can tell us in painful detail, it's been really jerked around by CIA. And I think a comparable panel for DOD would be helpful. Again, these are um, uh, panels of scholars who just serve in, evol uh, in an advisory uh, capacity. It's not new for full-time positions, uh, but can help with guidance and input and also the accountability on making sure each uh, department and agency is doing its declassification job. Um, because uh, most people agree, and I, I share this, the, the biggest part of the backlog is at the Pentagon. Um, in the most recent NDAA, there's a, there's a one-off requirement for the DOD to produce a report on its declassification process, uh, progress. Um, let's make that annual, uh, at least until DOD gets its, gets its act together. Um, and then likewise, uh, borrowing this from um, uh, Richard Immerman uh, has had the the great idea, and that others have as well, uh, about uh, one reason we have so many problems at DOD with uh, the declassifying their FRUS obligations is uh, there's no there's no coordination uh, there's no coordinating body within an authority. So create a declassification coordination office under the Under Secretary of Defense for Policy, because under USDP does seem to be where the where the logjam is, and uh, that could be a good counterpart for the similar bodies at state and CIA.